Hello. Trying something new here today. We'll see how long this series can go on for, if you want to call it a series, whether it's going to be a one-time thing on YouTube, I don't know. But um, um, Today, we're going to talk about stocks. So I finally downloaded this platform called M1 Finance. It's kind of like Robinhood, and um, people have been... Well, I say people, but two of the people that I know in my life have been recommending me this for a very long time. And yeah, finally I just uh, gave in and started to give this a shot because I have some cash lying around after making some money here and there. And um, instead of spending it all on beer and food, I just thought maybe it's just better to start investing, see how it goes. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to call this right now the stock challenge. Stock investing challenge. That's what I'm going to call it. There we go. We're making stuff up as we go. So I've learned about this thing called dividend investing, uh, which is like a low uh, risk investing and stuff. I thought trading was all about day trading and losing millions of dollars, but apparently that's not the case. You can invest money, kind of use it as a better savings account. I'm sure that's a very amateur way of calling it. I'm sure I'm going to get fired by so many people around the world. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to call it. It's just, I just think it's just a better savings account to put my money in. So, as you can see on my screen here, I just made an account today. Here's my name. And there's this thing called pie chart. You can buy shares um, in increments. So, you know, for example, a Facebook share is like, what, $188 or something right now. And if you don't have $188 to invest into Facebook, you can go on M1 Finance and you can buy little pieces of one share. So you could, as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, you can literally buy $5 or $10 worth of Facebook through M1 Finance if you wanted to. So I'm just going to exper experiment with this and I'm going to do a dividend challenge for YouTube because I love filming stuff on YouTube. And I'm gonna see uh, how much money I can make or how much money I'll lose by investing in dividend stocks, by doing dividend investing. So today is June 20th, 2019. And I'm just gonna see, you know, but during the course of a month, three months, a year, perhaps, perhaps and see how much money I've made or lost by investing in dividend. I, By the way, I have no idea about stock investing or trading. I've literally found out about dividend investing two days ago I, via YouTube. YouTube's the new educator, man, the ultimate educator. So thank you, YouTube. Um, yeah, this, I'm just gonna do this for fun pretty much and see what's gonna happen and so far, I've made the account today, as I said before, and named this DDD Dividend Boy because investing is boring and can be just bland numbers and charts and stuff like that. So I just thought I may as well make the title at least kind of exciting for me, but whatever. I'm gonna get so much crap in the comment section, if there is going to be any comment section available, if anyone actually cares about this video. Uh, but yeah, so far I have LMT, Lockheed Martin, basically, as far as I know, they're like the Stark industry and I like Tony Stark. So uh, this literally, this is how I'm going to invest all my money, man, based on pop culture and stuff like that. Exxon Mobil Corporation. XOM, because yesterday I filled up my car 
at Exxon Mobil. So that's why I'm investing in it. <laughs> Realty Income Corporation. Oh, I have that so far. I have $200 to spend right now. Um, I don't think you can see it at this point because the market has closed and it's going to be available tomorrow morning when the market opens or something. I have no idea, guys. I'm, I have no idea when my money's going to be in, but I'm pretty sure I put in $200 to invest on this platform. So we have the charts here and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so I have a pending buy of $15 for Exxon Mobil, 15 for Realty Income Corporation, and 50 for Lockheed Martin Corporation due to no particular reason. You see how I'm doing this by now, you know? I have no idea what I'm doing, basically. I have $200 to spend in a nutshell. So I'm gonna continue researching, reading about it, reading about stuff. I'd greatly appreciate it if somebody uh, contacted me and um, gave me a nice good old slap and uh, tell me like what I should invest in regarding dividend stocks. So yeah, um, fairly excited about this. Um, I like trying out new things, new platforms. That's all I gotta say for now, I suppose. So yeah, I'll update you with another video as soon as the money's and I've invested in these three uh, companies and just let you know what's going on, what I've learned and how much money I've made or lost. So that's it for now. Thank you very much if you've been watching this weird introductory video. Thank you. Peace. Boom.